Hey guys, Karthik here and in today's video I'm going to show how to install Android KitKat on the i9000 which is the Galaxy S. Please note that it will only work with this model and not with the other variants of the Galaxy S like the Galaxy S Plus, S LCD, S Advanced and st stuff like that. The main prerequisite for this video is that your device should be rooted and it should have a custom recovery installed so that we can flash 3 firmware files. So the first thing which we need to do is put the device into the recovery mode. So reboot into recovery. Once the device has been uh, rebooted into the recovery, we'll be wiping the device. The firmware will be divided into three parts which the first one is going to be the kernel. The second is the firmware itself and third is the G applications package. So, yep. In first we'll be wiping the entire device. So we need to go into mounts and storage. By the way, for controlling the list, I'm using the volume up and down uh, buttons to navigate. I'm pressing the home button or you can also press the power button to select it. Now we need to format all the entire device except the storage card uh, 0 and 1 which are storage card 0 is the internal memory of the device and uh, SD card 1 is the external memory or the memory card which you are having. So we will be from wiping the entire device first is the formatting of the boot and you need to wipe everything boot cache yes data data system and data yes now go back and choose install zip um, and then choose zip from uh, where wherever you have placed the zip. I usually place my zip on the internal memory card of the device so it is going to be storage 0. Navigate and out of the three files which I have told to download at the start of the video you need to uh, first select the cyan core kernel this one and flash it. Install the cyan core kernel. Yeah. And now we need to hit go back, advanced and the first option which is reboot recovery. The reason we are wiping the device is because um, so as to ensure that there are no residue files left from the previous flash which might interfere with the device. So now that the device is clean we can actually begin installing the ROM. So let's select install zip again choose zip from SD card 0 or your external memory if that is where you have placed the files then now we are going to be actually installing the firmware which is Cyan AOSP KitKat uh, version 2.6.0 select it and install now this is going to take a long time so I may be fast forwarding this part of the video Yep, so now that the uh, firmware has been installed, we need to install the G applications. So select Cyan AOSP G apps KitKat uh, 4.4 version 2. Hit install. Now take, uh, keep that in mind that the version of files which I am installing now and the versions which you will be downloading and installing might be uh, updated and so the version numbers might differ like I am using gapps version 2 it may be that the developer might release a version 3 by the time you people download and install it so that won't matter so now that we have completed both the uh, ROM and the G application install we'll hit go back and now it's time to reboot the device so we'll select reboot system now Again, it, this, this part is going to take some time and don't worry, the first reboot will usually take around 2-3 to three minutes, so don't panic, the device will boot up. Yep, so now that the firmware has been installed, we'll just do the initialization one time setup and we'll be ready to boot into KitKat. Select your language. Connect with the Wi-Fi network. 
just enter your gmail credentials in here accept the terms and conditions and it has begun the signing in part hit yes and now enter your name it's already it, it already took my name from the cloud and finish and that's all as we can see here this is the stock stock launcher of kitkat which has been tweaked by cyanogen mod so and this is the kitkat launcher and settings i'll just show you that it is indeed running kitkat the latest version of kitkat which is 4.4.2 the rom which i am running is called cyan aosp rom and it is running along with the cyan core kernel so this is how you install kitkat onto the international variant of the galaxy s which is i9000 i'm repeating again please do not try to attempt this on on any other variant of the device as you will break your device and as a disclaimer you should be knowing what you are doing with the device in case anything goes wrong which won't go wrong i am not responsible for it so Yep, that's all for this video. See you later. Bye bye. In today's video, I'm gonna show how to make the status bar of your Android device transparent.